Hello, I'm John Reeves here with Dave Meyer, and today we're going to talk about a huge trend that investors don't want to miss. It's the proliferation of sensors, and we'll talk a little bit about what's happening and go over the one stock that you don't, definitely don't want to miss. So Dave, this is something I know we've talked about a lot, and mm -hmm. it's something that you focus on quite a bit. So, you know, walk us through um, uh, what's going on in the sensor space. Well, it, sensors are, are, are popping up everywhere on all sorts of devices. And I think there's three reasons why. First, mm -hmm. sensors are getting smaller, but they're becoming, at the same time, they're becoming more powerful. And why that's important is for the second reason. We, we just everyone in general, has an insatiable thirst for data. And these sensors provide that data, whether you want to learn about a product or, or uh, any number of reasons you would want to use the data. They, they are the ones that provide it. And the last thing is, Everything is connected. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we, you and I are connected through lots of different devices, but we're seeing that what that does is that makes the data move around much, much easier. And so what are some of the ways that you can play it? I mean, obviously, there, I'm sorry, there's some companies directly and yep. some indirectly. Yep. We get, got a few ideas first? Yeah, let's go directly first. So there are two sensor makers that you can, you can invest in. One is called InventSense, and it has a competitor called ST Microelectronics. These guys are, are building all sorts of you know, cool little microchips that go into smartphones and tablets and gaming devices and all sorts of places, again, to give that, find out what's going on, report back, and then somebody can do something with the data. Um, the other way you can do it is indirectly. There are mm -hmm. people who consume these sensors. Google, Apple, right? Mm -hmm. They're, in fact, Apple even designed the M7 chip to be able to process all the information from all the sensors that are thrown into the iPhone 5S, and in the, I'm sure it will be in the, iP in the iPad as well. I was thinking, okay, so we're, we're sort of burying the lead here. <laughs> What's the one stock uh, that, that you think would be a good way to play this trend? Well, it's Sierra Wireless, and here's what Sierra Wireless does. They basically cre have chips uh, and, and, and information processing that allows the data to move. Um, and why that's important is this whole idea of the Internet of Things. Mm -hmm. it, this has been talked about for some time, right. but it's really starting to uh, take hold right now. Is and that like your refrigerator? Exactly. Could be your refrigerator. Yeah. Say, your refrigerator <laughs> says, hey, your egg, your egg drawer is empty, yeah. right? Uh -huh. Or a coffee maker saying, you know what? You need, new, you need more grounds. Mm -hmm. It could be all sorts of things and it, beyond what you can imagine. There's an expectation of about 50 billion connected wow. devices by 2020, and Sierra Wireless is playing right into that with the technology to, again, to make it happen. That's, mm -hmm. why, that's why it's going to be, in my opinion, very big going forward. Excellent, Dave. Thank you. You're welcome. So it's Sierra Wireless to play the sensor trend, and be sure to follow all of the ideas mentioned in this video on fool.com. Thank you.